Hey. So this is take two. Because the other one I rambled on too much. I'm just going to get to the point. This video is about Logan Paul. And how YouTube is going with all this shit. And I also guess after what happened with the family, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. To the people that don't know or the people that are probably going to watch this in the past. Um, Logan Paul is a YouTuber who first started off Vine. And then when Vine shut down, he moved on to YouTube. Now, at first, he wasn't really, I can't say, okay, he wasn't bad. Like, he wasn't, he didn't do anything wrong. Like, he made videos to some people that were funny. Or he made vlogs, there you go. I watched Tim, because I was like, hey, I wonder how he's doing. Like, you know, after Vine and shit, I wonder how he's doing. I checked his video out, I honestly didn't like it. Because Vine, he did skits. This, he's just doing vlogs. I don't really see the point of vlogs. I really don't. Like, why are you going to have a camera to film an entire day? That sounds fucking stressful. My God. Because, I mean, I've seen some vlogs. And I'm going to be honest, some are boring. Now, if you have, like, an interesting life, which some YouTubers do, um, then, yeah, go for it. Logan Paul, I don't see his life being interesting. It doesn't seem interesting. Because he already had a start with fucking vine so he already had cash but the point is he doesn't have like a house you know what i mean like a the eb family what's the names shape shea parker if i'm correct the shaytards there you go shaytards that's the best way to know them they have a vlog channel and they're very good like i've actually watched them and they like i think what's good about them because you can see the love of the family that's what's sort of great like you see a family Logan is just seeing some crazy ass dude do stupid shit. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, so that's that's how I first saw Logan. Then, <sighs> then, not even a day in 2018, and it already came out shitty. And I signify this as probably the end of YouTube. Or the end of Logan Paul. Well, no, never mind. It's not going to be the end of Logan Paul. It's just going to be the end of... The end of something. Because last time shit like this happened, we got monetized. And there's been a lot of demonetization. So, let's explain what happened. To the people in the future, or people that don't know. Logan Paul uploaded a video, if I'm correct, either in December 31st or January 1st. Because it literally, it wasn't even a day in 2018 when this shit already hit. Logan Paul uploaded a video of him going to the Japanese suicide force. I don't actually know the actual name. All I know is that it's famous for suicides because literally yearly it gets about 100 people going in to commit suicide a year. He originally was going to just do what a lot of YouTubes have done. Camp inside the suicide force. I've seen some camping videos and Love the Suicide Force. To be honest, some of them are pretty creepy. Like, I'm like, oh shit, this place is fucking haunted. I don't think I'm ever going to go here. But here's the thing people don't really think they'll see in this force. They think that, oh, it's haunted. They don't think of what it's actually known as. The Suicide Force. Logan caught that. He caught the first part, or the actual name of the force. Suicide. And when he was traveling inside the Suicide Force, and to be honest, I think it was like a take two. Because um, from seeing the little part of the video where he first sees the body, you can tell it's fake. Because his head was looking down. He's like, guys, guys, I, I don't think y'all guys can believe me, but then he looks up and says, I think I see a dead body over there. You can tell it's a take two. You can honestly tell. They found the body and they were like, oh shit, should we film this or not? And more likely, he was like, yeah, man, we'll feel, we're gonna get a lot of views. Because you can fucking tell to take two. You can fucking tell. Because there's no way in hell you're gonna be like, guys, I think I said a dead body, when looking down. There's no way. So, that's what he did. He, he fucking exploited a man who committed suicide. That day. He committed suicide that day. And he got, he got views. 
He got what he wanted. He got views. Here's the thing that disgusted me the most about it. He started joking, laughing, and that was, uh, I have seen reactions of people watching the video, and I'm surprised that um, people were talking like me. Like, uh, see, when I watch videos, I think of the editing, on like how good the editing is, and that that's what I think. I think of that even with movies. I'm a weird guy, straight up. Um, I think of that with that shit. And I heard it with everybody. I was like, damn. This shit must be very fucking serious then. Because I first watched reactions of this shit. And, uh, yeah. Until I found out about it. And I had to make sure if it was true or not. Because sometimes on YouTube, shit's been said and it's not really true. This was. It was incredibly true. And I am honestly sad that it is true. Uh, to the family, to the person that committed suicide, I apologize. Like, I'm sorry that your son, um, cousin, brother, um, nephew, I'm sorry that his body was found and exploited in a horrible way. Because nobody wants to see that like it's it's just fucked up and then what i've been told is that because the video i saw in the face was blurred apparently what i found out is that in the original video that logan uploaded he never blurred the face he showed it he made fun of it he laughed at it and it just it disgusted me. I couldn't even watch the video after that. I couldn't. I was just... Oh. Now, to, now, the reason I'm disgusted is because... Y'all guys don't know this. This is something I'm going to tell you right now. I suffer from... A lot of depression. A lot. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't sound like it. But I do. I'm going through it right now, actually. Um... I'm, I'm depressed as fucking hell. Because, like, no lie, uh, with the family that I've had, well, the father that I've had, um, he doesn't make it easy for you to live your life. So I've been depressed, practically, since I was a child. And I've been going along with it ever since. Because my life has been shit. Like, any dream I had from that man, and I told him, he would kill it. And I dreamed to be a basketball player. He killed it. He tried, he tried being a coach, and he didn't do a good job, I guess you could say. Like, there are times where your son at least needs motivation to go through it, and he didn't do that. Uh, I had a dream to be a rapper. Fuck that shit, too, but not the way you think. But what? Earn free Microsoft Awards? Fuck you. Sorry, that just killed the whole thing. Um... My father was an asshole. Do I still love him? Yeah, because he's the only dad I got. I'm actually going to try um, meeting up with him this year, or the, uh, this month in January. Because uh, him, my mom, and me, our birthdays are all in January. That's another reason why I'm sort of depressed, because um, our rent was due this month. I had my part. My brother didn't. He had to overdraft. When, if you guys don't know what that means, uh, you have to... I'm technically borrowing money for the bank. And the money that I was going to use, because to be honest, my birthday, I don't really want a lot. I just sort of want time to myself. I just wanted to go out somewhere by myself. Like, I want to go to Small Planet, uh, some fucking restaurant. It's called Small Planet. I just wanted to go there because I never went, like, I've never been there. And just have a meal to myself. That's it. It would be me paying. It wouldn't be anybody else. I couldn't even do that. Because I had to get out, like, all my money. Like, the rent and money to put shit in his damn account. Reason I paused. People came through. Um, like, I, I had to do that. 
and I couldn't do shit for my birthday. That was my brother's birthday gift to me, leaving me completely broke. And that's another reason why I'm depressed at the moment, because um, I do have done a lot to help my family. And to be honest, I shouldn't even be filming like this, because my family is my family. But um, there are times you just want to go and have time to yourself, and I wanted that for my birthday, and I couldn't even get that. So, yeah, I guess I should start explaining the whole scenario with us real quick. Um, we're good. We're all good. Um, we did pay the rent, so we're all good. We're, we're not leaving this bitch. Um, we talked to our mom. We talked to our sister. It was just crap we were going through. That That's it. Like, it was just tensions that it fucking exploded in the wrong moment at the wrong time. So we talked to him. We explained that. And now we're all good. And I'm going to be honest, I do sort of feel a bit bad because it feels like ever since I uploaded those videos, our subscribers have been skyrocketing a bit. Um, I feel bad because it feels like that's why I got about 20, no, 30 more subscribers because we're at 170. When I made those two videos, we were at 140. I feel bad about that. And I'm sorry that um, you guys probably subscribe because of that scenario not because of what I do. I don't want y'all guys to subscribe because I'm going through shit. I want you guys to subscribe because you guys enjoy the crap I do. Like, I enjoy the videos I make, enjoy this and that. Now, I don't know if it is because of those two videos or it's because of Bad Boys Girl. I'm just saying it because it happened right after um, I uploaded those two. The explanation and when it happened. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't want you guys thinking like, oh, I made them so then I can get pity subscribers. I didn't do that. I was, we were going through some shit and we, we patched up pretty quickly, actually. We patched up really quickly. Um, I didn't make a thing yet because I was like, eh. <laughs> I, I just, because the whole birthday shit, you know, that, that just sort of had a crap on. So yeah. Give me a sec. I'm gonna lock the door. Okay. I just locked the door. So if you guys hear like some banging and shit, uh, that's why. Because uh, I'm I'm not in my brother ring. I don't. I'm I'm sort of pissy at him because he screwed me over like that. Well, for his birthday, I got pizza for him. I did a lot of shit for his birthday. I even tried getting him a gift. Me and my mom did, and that's sort of how he would me. Again, I shouldn't be acting like that, but it's just, I don't know. But yeah, um, just been depressed and shit because of that crap. But, um, that's, that's why the Logan Paul thing hit me a lot. Because right now I'm going through a lot of depression right now. I should not be seeing someone that went through depression and commit suicide happen. <laughs> I shouldn't be seeing that shit happen. Because then it just builds up thought. I mean, now this is the thing. Logan made that video because he thought it would prevent suicide. In a way, it sort of did. Not in a positive one, though. You see, um, the reason some people commit suicide is because they think no one loves them. And they think, and some people do it because they think, um, they don't make a change. Logan's just sort of proved that that's not going to actually happen. Because sometimes when people kill themselves, um, it does make an impact. But to the ones that do the bullying or to some people that just don't care, they just laugh it off. That's what Logan did. So technically it did sort of stop suicide just not in the positive way it sort of made it even worse god fucking damn it he's playing Harlem Shake I don't know if you guys can hear that I really hope you guys cannot hear that because that pissed me off big time 
<sighs> Motherfucker, I'm trying to make a serious fucking video and he's playing fucking home shake. <sighs> like I said, I'm going to be very pissy with him. Um, But yeah, I, like, <laughs> it's just, it's just wrong, man. Because I even thought that shit, like, with my family, like, if I did do it. Because I, I still get those thoughts. I still get them. I still have them. Some that have been fucking occurring in my brain lately. A lot. Because uh, it's... It, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. It's just... I'm disgusted on how Logan just showed a man that was dealing with some serious shit and then he did that and then the other thing that pisses me off because this is also deal this is the next part that i said we're going to get into the way youtube has been treating the scenario now i'm going to throw in another titan here of youtube or technically a god because he has the most subscribers pewdiepie pewdiepie fucked up last year because he uploaded a video where he was messing with fiverr and he paid these Two Indian guys. I don't know if they're Indian or African. I'm sorry. Uh, they took down the video, so I can't do my research. Um, they. I saw the video. They did do what he paid them to do, like make a little scene, and then uh, they were like laughing at the beginning, and then one of them stops the other one, and they hold up a sign saying a sign that's not appropriate. Fuck, I'm just going to say it, because the video's not going to get monetized. I don't monetize these one-on-one -on -one sessions with us. Death to all Ze uh, Jews. I said to Zeus for some reason. I'm so sorry. I am incredibly sorry. Um, a sign said death to all Jews. It still sounds like I said the other damn thing. God damn it. Death to all Jews. There you go. I'm sorry. It's just, I don't want to offend people. I really don't. And I'm very sorry if I did offend some people. I'm very sorry. Because I have horrible vocabulary. Um, it's just... <sighs> he lost everything because of that. He uh, he lost his contract with Disney. He lost his season two of uh, Scare PewDiePie. He... I, if I'm correct... I'm not sure this part's correct. This part could be wrong, but I've heard... That the game company that made uh, PewDiePie Simulator and The Legend of the Bro Fist got shut down. That company is shut down. That's what I heard. I'm probably wrong because, to be honest, the game still gets updated. So that's why I'm a bit confused on that info. So it was either true or some shit. I don't fucking know. But yeah. Um, that crap happened. And, uh,. Fuck, yeah. He, um... He got bitch smacked a lot because of that one video. While Logan is not getting any repercussion from any anybody from YouTube. Like, his movie is still up. The fucking YouTube series that he is in is still up. Like, everything that he did in that video, he's not getting punished for. Which I think is total bullshit. The man did something far worse than what PewDiePie did. PewDiePie uploaded a video thinking that he wasn't thinking about views. He was thinking, holy shit, mother of God, I can't believe this. And he uploaded because he was like, dear Lord, can anyone else believe this shit? Logan did it for the views. He didn't say, I didn't do it for the views. I get views. You got it from that video. You got about 4 million and about 600,000 likes, which is total bullshit again. Oh my fucking God. I can't believe fucking people like that damn video. That's, that's more disgusting. I fucking God. It's just, oh my fucking God. I can't, I'm, I get... I'm depressed and sort of pissed at the moment. I am very depressed and pissed. It's not a good combo. It's just... Uh, it's just bullshit that he's not getting no punishment at all for what he did. Yet PewDiePie gets the worst. I think that's fucked up. And now, because what Logan Paul did, 
YouTube's going to change something. They're going to change something. What? We don't know. We honestly don't know. They might be even stricter with monetization now. Well, to be honest, probably not, because technically Logan got away with it by not monetizing the video. But still, they're going to change something. Maybe there's not going to be a decision to monetize or not monetize the video anymore, which, to be honest, I'm sort of going to hate. Because I really don't like monetizing these one-on-ones with us. I really don't. Because it's... It seems shitty. Like, when I make these one-on-ones, these little updates or anything like that, I want to talk to y'all and not get paid. I'd rather talk to y'all and tell y'all what's going on. Not talk to y'all, get paid about what's going on. Fuck that. That's stupid. That's... My fucking God. It, that just might happen. Who knows? Because he got away with showing that video because he didn't monetize the video. So now they might do that shit. And they think it's fucking stupid. That everybody's getting punished for this crap. Give me a sec. That was my Um. Oh my God. I just... Like I said, I know something's going to change. And it's bullshit that everybody's getting punished for two things to you. But two YouTubers did. And to be honest, I'm not going to call Logan a titan of YouTube. Because... I don't really see how in America he's the biggest YouTuber. I don't see it. I mean, he doesn't do anything. He just does stupid shit. And then another thing, too, he's like, everybody's starting to see how he truly is. Like, when they've watched the videos before, they just think, oh, he's just, he's just, you know, that's how he acts. It's funny. Like, oh, he's so funny. Yeah. But then when they, after that video, seeing how disrespectful they were, their eyes finally opened and they saw the asshole that is Logan Paul. Like how even another video that he was in, uh, where his friend's dog died, he didn't even act solemn about it. He didn't act sad. He didn't, he wouldn't, he, like he didn't act like he was there for his friend. Cause literally not two minutes after they like, after they buried the dog, well, no, that was probably two minutes in real time, but in video-wise, it was not even two minutes after they buried the dog, after they got home, video-wise. Logan was promoting his merchandise. You don't do that. It's a friend's... It, if a friend is mourning, you don't advertise your merchandise. And to be honest, if you look at his friend... I mean, you can sort of see in his face, too. He didn't really like it. He honestly did not like it. He sort of was like, are you fucking serious? You're, you're doing this right fucking now? Not nah, man. It was just... The man is an asshole. Everyone, like, PewDiePie even uh, was smacking down on him, too. And to be honest, uh, PewDiePie, he smacked down a bit too hard. He made it seem like he did nothing wrong. He did a huge hiccup. Um, now, was it as bad as Logan's? I don't... To be honest, I don't think so. Because I understand it was a joke. And that's what YouTube didn't understand. That's what Wall Street didn't understand. That's what fucking advertisers didn't understand. That it's a... It was... It was a funny moment that happened by accident. It wasn't real, Okay. Well, no, it was real, but it, it it was an accident, okay? It was an accident. Now, I am going to be honest. PewDiePie did... Someone had to click the publish button on YouTube. They had to click the publish and upload button. They had to click that. PewDiePie should have thought about what was going to happen a bit more. He should have thought. But he should not also be smacking down on Logan. Because he fucked up too. And he fucked everybody on YouTube. Logan is probably going to fuck everybody in the United States or on YouTube, too. Now, I don't know what's going to happen with Logan or YouTube, but I know something's going to happen. It's going to be shitty. <sighs> but, dear Lord, I, I just... <sighs> Making YouTube videos already is already hard enough because for small channels, it's hard to even make a video. Like, me, I cuss like a sailor. Me cussing is not me cussing because I want to be funny. It's me cussing because I cuss a lot. <laughs> I cuss a hell a lot. I'm not doing it in this. Well, no, I do it. I think I did it in this video a lot. But I cuss a lot. I do. 
because that's who I am. I, I'm a fucking – I'm not a sailor, but I cuss like a sailor. Uh, is that good? Honestly, no, it's not. I need to fucking control my mouth. That's why I don't talk on, like, some events or some occasions. But because of this Logan Paul shit, I know something's going to happen. And it's going to hurt not just me, everybody on YouTube. And I still think he should be punished in a way. He's not. He's not getting punished at all. And to be honest, I think it's sort of bullshit how um, one of the girls on the video, um, in the video of the suicide thing uh, about the body, she was in the video. She was even laughing about it too, if I may add. How out of nowhere, out of fucking nowhere, like that, she switches sides. She switched sides and started saying, no, it's fucking disgusting. It's well, I think that was her because on the thumbnail of that video, it sh shows the person. I don't know. Um, let's do that research real quick. I'm going to. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to search it because she is in one of his videos. She is. And if I'm correct, uh, she's actually the Cash Me Outside girl. Yeah, the Cash Me Outside. How about that? Yeah, that's that's her apparently. Danielle Pogoli. If I'm correct, she was in that video too. Like, she was in that fucking video. And... There it is. Wait, does she have a fucking easy... Wow, she does. She's a singer? Are you fucking serious? Wow. Like, she she is the fucking Catch Me Outside girl. The one that says, Catch Me Outside, how about that? She was gonna get a TV series and then she fucked it up, dumbass. It's just... It's stupid. How... Because in the video itself, she was like... We found a dead body. Like, they found a fucking million dollars. That's how she sounded. So I have... It was, like, too long to find it. But, yeah. She treated it... Like, the way she said it. It sounded like, oh. We found a fucking dead body. It was just like... like we found a dead body. It was like, we found a million dollars. Same thing. So everybody, everybody that was there already knew what they were doing. They knew that they were going to go in for views. They knew that they were trying to fucking get views and be like, Oh, I'm going to be bigger than fucking PewDiePie. But here's the thing. PewDiePie's video did get shut down, but he's still making videos and he's still going. Y you, you fucked up because you hit a topic that is even worse than what PewDiePie hit. Because to be honest, racism in the whole world, it's, it's not dead. It's not dead. I'm going to admit that. It's not dead. But it's not as big as suicide. Cause suicide has been a thing since the beginning. Well, not the beginning of time, but you know what I mean. It's been the beginning. Like, it's been the thing for a long-ass time. Longer than the racial shit. Because there was a time where everybody was okay with everybody. Then racial shit happened. You think that? They were coming in. Okay, so... It's just... Everybody already knew what was going on in that video. And it's just pissing me off because I already knew. I, like, you can tell what they were going to do. You could tell. And it's bullshit that it happened. I'm pissed because it hit a topic that's super close to home for me. And I'm already going through it already. And I don't need that crap. I don't need that crap in my life. Again, I don't need any of this shit in my life. And to be honest, I wish I could get over it. Get done with it. Never have to deal with this shit again. But... Shit happens, I guess. Shit happens. Shit happens. <sighs> so, yeah. Um, to be honest, I really didn't even want to make a video of this because it felt like it still gives Logan Paul um, the attention that he so desperately wants. Because, no lie, there's, there's already been, like, fucking... 50 million people talking about it. And even people that know Logan talking about it. Like, it's it's sad that this is a fucking trend. To where we have to attack someone. 
I mean, I'm not attacking Logan. I'm attacking the way he acted. That's what I'm attacking. Logan should have handled it a bit better. He should have, well, technically, he should have never even recorded the body. Because, like I said, you can tell what's a take two that he did. When he saw the body, he should have called the authorities right away and not have done what he did. He should have just said what happened in another video. Because, more likely, it was going to hit the news either way. It's just wrong that it hit, like, the story came up with a video instead of a, an actual story. It should have been like an interview thing with him, not uh, a video. And not a video to where he acts like an idiot. So, Logan, I'm going to be honest with you it, that you're never going to fucking watch this, but in case somehow you do, um, I'm not attacking you, bro. I'm really not. I, I respect you as a person and stuff. As, even as a YouTuber, because you 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 gotten far, yeah, you gotten far from what you've done. But dude, you gotta clean up. You gotta clean up your actions. You gotta think before you act instead of act and act. <laughs> that's what you need to do. Um, I know your part. He's never gonna fucking watch this, guys. But that's what he needs to do. He needs to start thinking before he does shit instead of acting on it. Because, okay, it's like me, that's what I do. I overthink a lot of shit. Like, um, on one of the Gotcha World videos, uh, well, not Gotcha World, um, Crown of the Flame, there was this one character, he was, uh, he was Asian, and the voice I gave him was a bit, I'm gonna be honest, in my opinion, I was offended on just hearing it on the editing. Um, and I'm not even, I'm, I'm not even Asian. <laughs> I'm not even Asian, but I felt that there was a bit of, you know, not respectable crap. There you go. Not respectable crap. Uh, so quickly during that editing after, or quickly on that video after I did the voice, I quickly put an apology saying I am highly, highly, like I highly apologize for uh, the voice I gave this person because it's offensive. So see, shit like that. You got to overthink crap like that. Logan, if you ever do watch this, you gotta overthink crap like that. I highly doubt you're gonna watch this because my YouTube channel's so low that really not not any you there's no way anybody's gonna find out about it. Um no, if y'all guys share. Ah oh, shit, now I feel like an asshole for saying that. Dear lord, I'm sorry. I shouldn't even say that shit on here. God damn it. See, like that. Like I did it then saw what happened. And realized, oh shit, very quickly. Instead of, oh shit, very fucking late. That's what Logan needs to do. Um, yeah. Um, thank you guys for letting me rant, I guess. Because, um, no lie, this is, this is a very tough topic for me to talk about. It's incredibly hard. Because um, I, I have suffered through this shit since I was a child. My dad wasn't a good influence. He was an asshole. And he fucked up my uh, self-esteem a lot. Like, no lie, if I do anything now, uh, even on games, if someone challenged me on the game, I'm just like, nah, I'm going to lose. I'll try my best, but I still say I'm going to lose, um, no matter what. Even when it comes to real life, uh, I doubt if someone says shit. I doubt if some other crap happens. I just, I, I doubt myself a lot. And it's because of my depression, because of my low self-esteem. It's because of a lot of shit like that. Now, the only reason I haven't done that with YouTube is because YouTube, I I have been taking some risks. But then when I realize the risk that I'm taking and it's a bad risk, I quickly, quickly shut it down. Like uh, the Crown and Flame one, I quickly shut that down saying that I'm, I, I apologize. Um, that, that's what I do. I overthink a lot of shit now because of that crap. Which is sort of good, but um, yeah, to the people that don't know, uh, because I have, I don't know if I have thrown little jokes in here, because I, like, my mind's going everywhere right now, because I didn't want, really want to make a video of this. My mind's going everywhere, but if I made little jokes here and there, that's because that's the way I cope with my depression. I either make a, I edit a video, or record a video, or I 
make stupid jokes. I don't even say the jokes. I just say stupid shit, I guess. Um, yeah. That's that's what I do to cope with it. And for me, it's been working. I mean, yeah, I still have the thoughts and stuff because I do overthink a lot. I have a highly, highly high imagination. Um, so, yeah, that's actually not a good combo. Depression, anger, and high imagination. It's not a good combo. Um, it's actually the worst. I'm surprised I'm still alive, man. God damn. Because it's, it's really not a good combo if you have a high imagination because then you're thinking, oh, damn. I could try that. And see, that's that's where it's not a good thing. Then if you get too mad, like today I was I was sort of like really mad to where I really wanted to punch a wall because of the whole scenario with my brother crap. But I didn't do it because I know I'm better than that. I have my morals still. Um... Yeah, that's that's how I cope with my pain. I just not my pain, my depression, my bad. Um, I just make stupid shit come out of my mouth. Uh, do my voices. Also, I found out what's wrong with my voice. Why I can't do my high pitch anymore? It's because I have a chronic sore throat. Where I work, they smoke a lot, and inhaling it through my mouth fucks up my throat. So that's why um, I can't do the high pitch voice. Like I don't even know what I can do it right now. Yeah. Oh shit, I'm alive. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> See, he's only a little bit alive. But, um, yeah, I found out that's why. Um, because I've been inhaling it through my mouth a lot. So, if anything at work, um, I'm going to limit my talking to where we can get that voice back and I can do more voices. Because <laughs> that voice is like 50 of my voices. Um, yeah. Uh, again, because this part still bugs me. If you guys subscribe because of the. In the like the two explanation videos or the videos where I recorded saying shit was going down. Again, I highly apologize if you guys subscribed out of pity. I didn't make those videos for that. I made them because I wanted to let y'all guys know if shit was going to change, which I thought it was big time. I thought a lot of crap was going to change. I'm thankful. I'm very thankful that nothing's changing for the channel. I'm highly thankful for that. And again, um, because I did get a lot of positive comments through those videos. Thank you. Because, um, I'm not joking, I was going through some hell. And those thoughts were coming back. But then reading those uh, comments that were left behind, were, um, they lift me up. See, that's another thing that uh, helps me, is that uh, just reading the comments, reading what you guys love about my channel and it's it's amazing i thank you guys for that because it's it's a lot of crap to go through um i'm sorry this video is very long um i doubt you guys watched the whole thing but if to those that did thank you for watching it um thank you for hearing what i had to say about the scenario about and technically this is not a logan paul video it's not me ranting about logan paul this is me talking about how I feel about Logan, YouTube, and letting you guys know what's going on here in the channel. They're here, so I'm just going to end it. So, thank you guys for watching. Bye, guys.